Hey, the Bee Ranger here. Welcome back. What I'm going to do today is tell you what I'm doing to prepare for wildfire season. Last year, we had significant wildfires coming within a couple miles miles of our home, and we figured out from that experience that we need to be better prepared. So what we've done is we've prepared our own firefighting system using an IBC tote, a water pump, and a fire hose. I want to show you what we have. So right here, we have an IBC tote. You can find these almost anywhere for under $100, and if you're lucky, you can find them for around $50 or even free. They're used to transport uh, liquids of various types, and once they're used, people who have them often want to get rid of them because they just take up space. So check Craigslist, check the Facebook Marketplace, and you can probably find find them near you for a good price. This holds uh, about 250 gallons of water. so um, that's a lot of water, but you can go through it pretty quickly with a good pump. All right, so here we have a Harbor Freight 35 gallon per minute water pump, and I'll put a link for this in the description below this video. Uh, so we're going to test this today. Once you fill it with gasoline, you're supposed to run it every three months. We're needing to run it now to uh, keep the gas flowing through the system so the system doesn't get all gummed up. And here we've got a 100 foot, 250 PSI fire hose. And I will put a link for this in the description below as well. Also, we've got the firefighting nozzle, which uh, is better than the nozzle that you would have on a garden hose. It puts out a lot more water. So you want to make sure that you have one of this, one of these. You'll see a link below. What we have here is an intake hose from Harbor Freight. It was only about $30. I'll put a link in the description for that. We equipped it with a um, cam lock system, which I'll also put a link for, for a quick connection to this uh, filter so that you're not intaking a lot of vegetation and other debris into your tank that will then gum up your firefighting system. The advantage of a cam lock system is that it just snaps caps on real quick so that you don't have to waste time screwing things on. All right. And then you'll hook up the other end to your Harbor Freight pump, dump this into a body of water, and then use your fire hose to quickly fill up your system here. Before you start up your pump, make sure you loosen the lid so that you don't create a vacuum that collapses your tote. One of the reasons that we practice this uh, is to make sure that we have our equipment ready to go. This hose is not ready to go because as I roll it out, what I'm going to end up with is the end where I'm going to put the, um, the nozzle closest to me. And what I want to do is end up with the end that I'm going to hook up to the IBC tote closest to me. So we're going to roll up this hose correctly when we're done so that next time we roll it out, it's going to roll out correctly. Our intake hose is going to hook up here. The Harbor Freight pump will show you where you want to hook up your intake and outlet will go up here. And you'll want to make sure you have a tight seal. So if you're not getting a tight seal, you may want to add some plumber's tape and then we've got our fire hose here, which we'll attach here. All right, and then I'm gonna have the Rough Ranger start it up for us and uh, we'll see how it works. Before you get your pump started up, it's important to prime it. Your instructions that come with the pump will explain how to do that. Hook up to the IBC tote works, really, goes really fast using the cam lock system. Again, you have to add this after market. The IBC tote does not come with this uh, adapter here or with the uh, male end of the cam lock. However, uh, there is a video by the Rough Ranger that you'll find a link for below that shows you how to assemble all this. So now we're gonna get the Rough Ranger to help us out here and get the pump started up and we'll get the nozzle on the other end of the hose and we'll see how it works.
It's demonstrated by the rough ranger. You want to hold your fire hose over your shoulder. And as you're uh, stretching out your hose, you want to make sure that all the kinks are out of it before you start to spray. So the farther you have it clo closed on the nozzle, the farther the distance it reaches the water. The, the water reaches a farther distance on the road. And you can see that with the Harbor Freight pump, you get a nice stream on the one-inch hose for spraying your roof and wetting it down to prevent your roof from catching on fire during a wildfire. So that concludes our demonstration for today. If you like this video, click the like button. If you have comments, leave a comment below. And make sure you subscribe so that next time I post a video on my channel, you get notified.